Uh, what are the common mistakes on application of bonding agents and the best practices for rubber to metal parts? And I think we summarize those pretty well here. One, start with a clean part. Two, make sure that all of your coding for your bonding agents are consistent, that they are smooth and even, that they are within the parameters for film build that are uh, set forth by the bonding agent supplier. And you've got to make sure that the quality is there long before you ever get to the overmolding. Just the bonding agent itself, primer if you're using it, plus the, uh, for instance, the Chemlock that we showed, has very specific parameters to maintain a strong film that provides a good surface to bond to. So cleanliness, consistency of film, those things are very, very important. And we often forget, um, as Robbie pointed out, we may clean in a batch and then set those parts aside before we process them. All the time that they're setting there, they're getting dirty. And so we clean them, we assume they're clean, and yet our process uh, has introduced dirt and contamination into the process before we finalize the application of bonding agent and then the overmolding process. So these are the tight process control is extremely important and you've got to make sure that you follow the steps. And like I mentioned, time is the enemy of all manufacturing processes. You want to move as quickly as possible from one step to the other. You want to move through your process of, from start to finish consistently and without interruption, knowing that each step in the process is controlled and prepares the part for the next step. And so uh, things like, like I mentioned, cleaning and then storing and waiting, uh, those are common mistakes that result in failure, even in a well-controlled process. Uh, uh, here, I would like to add a few more points related to the process, actually. Okay, in any kind of uh, uh, bonding application process, one is the fluid preparation process. Second is the fluid transfer process. And the third one is the fluid application process. And obviously, the last but not, not the least is your uh, temperature means the drying application. Okay. Now, uh, many times, depending upon the type of process, whether it's a deep, deep spin or the spray application or the brush applications and all, one has to be very, very ensuring that the uh, uh, substrate preparation, the, the way importance we discuss about substrate preparation, it is equally important to prepare your uh, fluid also. The fluid preparation is very important. You need to do this. Uh, uh, it, it needs to be continuously a stirrer. Stirrer should be there involved into that. I'll give an example. In, in one of the uh, uh, customer's end, I had seen he was using the deep spin application. And in the morning, he used to top up with the solvent and the uh, uh, adhesive. And the, throughout the day, he used to maintain it over there without any stirrer, stirring. When, when I saw that uh, he is using that only whenever the stirring used to happen only when the, uh, the drum used to rotate inside the tank. That was enough, according to him. But no, that was not at all enough because the solid content will be getting uh, uh, accumulated at the bottom of the tank. And even with the one-time circulation or one-time uh, uh, a rotation of your drum inside that tank would be create would not be creating the enough solid content available for your substrate. Similarly, your uh, uh, for the spray application, the gun parameters what I had just mentioned few minutes back that is related to your uh, uh, nozzle diameter, then the gun angle, then the uh, uh, your um, uh, number of clicks or the flow flow of the gun so these are the different parameters one has to remember and these are the common mistakes people do maintain do uh, create and then the uh, uh, the for the 
better better and effective coating of the applications metal rubber bonding and all these kind of process parameters are going to be responsible for making the improper process for you 